This time, what we're going to do, we're going to mix the lion hair with the potion. You push the tuft of cat fur into the vial. It quickly dissolves into the blue liquid. All right. Give it to her, now! I have something that might interest you. A youth potion. Brewed from a nightingale, no less. You have it? Yes, I do. Well, don't just stand there, you foolish boy. Give it to me. It's all yours. Please take it. Yes. yes. Enjoy it. This is it. I thought I'd never see it again. Mm -hmm. At last, I have Here you a go. youth potion in my hand. Drink it up. What happens to her? Look at me. I am so beautiful. Oh, really? No. Ah! <laughs> Turn into a hairy giving you a taste of your woman. Hairy out. Uh, cat woman. I'll never be able to show my face anywhere. There you go. And I have fleas. Aw, poor girl. How bad is it? Let me see. Okay. Uh I look ridiculous. Maybe if I could my eyes. My eyes! Push her out the window. Sirs are right. Hagatha's body is nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she went. How hmm. odd. Wow. Let's talk to her some more. Yes. I beg your pardon? You were trying to think of the best way to ask me to marry you. As I said, I have seen you in my dreams ever since you arrived in Kalima, and I have come to feel for you All right. the way I know you feel about me. Wow. So the answer to your question is yes. Really? But I haven't asked you yet. Yeah. But there is a far better question you could ask, <clears throat> such as where shall we be wed? In your kingdom or mine? Wow. Not yours. There is something I must attend to in Daventry that may ruin the occasion otherwise. Really? Whatever you decide, my dear. All right. How romantic. You manage to break open the door. The two of you venture to the smaller island where the portal still swirls expectantly. As you step through it, you find yourself Excellent. wondering where it will teleport you. We'll find out soon enough. <gasps> of course. See the magic crystal ball. We seem to be in Hagatha's the snow cave. globe. How did we end up here? I have no idea. A glass dome, semi-spherical in shape, sits on the table. It reminds you of a shakable snow dome toy that you once owned as a child. Let's examine it. Inquisitively, you pick up the glass dome to inspect it more closely. Wow. Astounding. Wow. Within the dome's wall of glass is contained the entire island realm, quartz tower, and all. We've got it. Why ever would you want to take that? This item denied you of your freedom. It is only right that you may do as you please with it. Hmm. It's yours. Or you could accept it as a wedding gift. There you go. Valenice takes the dome from your hand. I shall keep it as a reminder that, regardless of what transpires from this point on, I have experienced worse. Let's save our progress as Save the Princess. The iron cauldron is bubbling with a nasty smelling brew. Mm. A hot fire burns underneath. The skulls probably belong to unfortunate travelers who fell into Hagatha's clutches. Apparently, she is not a vegetarian. I kind of gathered that. What's in the cape? There is nothing else inside the cloak. Unfortunately, you are not versed in the skills for operating one of these. The cauldron's fire does not need further wood at this time, and you aren't really a contender for the Kalima annual caber toss. All right. It is a crystal ball. All right. Uh, let's talk to her a little bit more. It is simply an absolute pleasure to meet your own acquaintance. It is simple. It is simple. Graham, I don't like this place. Let's leave. All right, let's get out of here quickly. This place is not it's not healthy. Oh, 
It's Count Kaldor. As you exit the cave, you notice that it is night already. Also, the two of you seem to have some company. Kaldor.